So we're here with two fourth grade teachers, Mickey Bates and Allison Campbell, and they're doing a PBL, and I wanted them to describe it to you today. Okay, so um, Mickey went to the PBL training, um, and by doing that, she came up with this vision that she wanted to implement it within our classrooms. Um, and at that moment in time, I got on board and I supported her. And now we are in the process of implementing it this year with our kids. Um, and we're just in the beginning stages, so we haven't seen exactly where it will take us, but I can definitely see the impact that it can have um, in the dynamics of a classroom. Um, so, and now I'm doing my training um, right now in the month of October, so hopefully that will give us even more ideas to grow the ones that we have started with this year. And I think really the important thing is that this is our first year trying this, and so we know it's not going to be perfect, but we're willing to take that risk. I like to call it as PBL with a twist because it's really intertwining a lot of different things at once. So the big idea came to us about using this idea of grit and perseverance and how we've just interwoven that topic into all the academic areas. And we've done it starting off with small pieces and we're leading that up to the big part. So to start off, we read a story where Manji moves a mountain, talked about that grit and perseverance and to really build that teamwork with the kids, we've done a lot of design challenges in between. We are reading another story out loud called A Long Walk to Water. And this is really gonna set the foundation for what our next um, activity or project is gonna be, where um, the kids are gonna be designing t-shirts and we had a community member coming in to be the expert on designing t-shirts and sharing with the kids tips and strategies then she's going to come back in a week or so to look at their t-shirts and to critique them. And the groups are going to get that feedback to then revise their t-shirt design before it goes to the printing press. Um, well, I was just going to say when she was talking about how it's going through our curriculum, um, when she brought me the idea last year, we were talking about books and what we could use to help teach the idea of perseverance and grit and not giving up. Um, but so I read Fish in a Tree. Um, I started it last year because um, I needed to change things up. Um, but it's about a young girl around their age um, that has dyslexia and she has to overcome the struggles that she has. Um, she's bounced from school to school and she's kind of always gotten away with being able to um, kind of let her teachers kind of let her do whatever she wants um, because they don't really know how to help her just because she's with them for such a lim limited amount of time. So um, so we thought that was a good book to continue with. Um, so we just started reading that book as well as The Long Walk to Water to really teach the kids of how they need to persevere and how they can't just give up when it gets a little challenging. Um, which is difficult for me too. I know in our design challenges, um, when we were doing the um, digital breakout, digital breakouts, and Vicky would give me the challenge. I'm like, these are hard. How am I? How do we expect the kids to do these when I can't do them? Um, so I re really like learned from myself that I need to grow some perseverance and grit as well with them. So, and the other part with PBL is also. Um, getting the community involved and so we wanted to come up with an idea for the kids to be able to see that positive influence that they can have so we are going at the end of the month to Matthew 25 ministries to volunteer and we have four times that are set up for the year for the kids to uh, volunteer and to help out and see how they can make a difference we're also collecting items to donate when we go there that's one piece of it. So when I say that we're intertwining it, we're actually leading up to our big PBL project, and that's our Ohio History Walk, where students are going to um, choose a historical person or event from Ohio that led up to Ohio becoming a state, and they're gonna design a monument 
and create a plaque for that. And we're going to have those then displayed outside on our sidewalk leading up to the school for community members, parents to see. Also for students to walk the walk and to participate and see if they can answer some questions. The other really important piece to the PBL that Allison and I are still working on, and I think that's the really important part, is that I don't have all the answers and I'm still working through it, so this is my year to learn from what I'm doing. So I think that's why I really went to Allison in the first place, is how can we make this work and, and just being open to taking the risk and I think that bouncing ideas off constantly of will this work, will this not work, and if it doesn't work, how can we change it up? Because we know that it's not going to be flawless. And that's where I'm even getting help from community members. So when I was on the Sycamore Advisory Council, I met wonderful people from the community, and so we are going to be using retired community members to come in to be our engineer experts to help the students with their monument designs and to put this into action. So really excited about that. It's still a work in progress, uh, just know that. But I think the impact that it has for the kids is that they are excited about learning and we are excited to try and put these things into action because we really see that these are worthwhile activities and our students really have learned how to work together, how to collaborate together, and to problem solve in different ways. And, and even we. Yeah. I was going to say, she's a great team member <laughs> because uh, she she was willing to walk this uh, adventure with us. Yeah, together. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. That's why I thought it was important to do, the, <laughs> to do the PBL training right off the get-go. Um, but the kids are. They are excited about it. I think it makes us excited to teach. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they look forward to those activities, which makes us look forward to those activities. Um, I know that they're very anxious and eager to get to Matthew 25 Ministries, as am I. So we just have a lot of things that we're excited and we're looking forward to, and I think that that gets them excited and stuff that they're looking forward to, you know, what, what's next? What, and I think, you know, um, PBL with the twist is just letting yourself be open to um, trying the new things and making it appropriate for that grade level. And I think that's what's more important. Is that it? Is that yeah, good enough? <laughs> that's great. Really, really proud of both of you for taking this challenge on. Oh, oh I should be up. <laughs>